Hey guys, it's Nadia from the Idea Designs, and today we have something a little different for you today. So I got this mold from Gia Creations on Instagram, and it's meant to be a jewelry holder. So it has like a base that you can actually attach this to and then um, hang your jewelry off of it. But I want to do something a little bit unique with it. So I poured some gold uh, glitter into the tree part and then some green glitter into the leaves. And as you saw at the beginning of the video, I had put a little piece of plastic at the bottom just to kind of remove, separate that little notch that normally fits into the base um, because I didn't need that. I just wanted this, the bottom of the tree to be straight. So, um, so I just put up when the resin after it had been poured, I just stuck a little piece of plastic in there to separate it. So let's just finish up getting all these pieces unmolded. And of course we have to get our tree taken out here. And uh, we have to be a little bit delicate with it because those branches are quite thin. So go ahead and be a little bit careful getting those out. There we go. And we're all set for the next step. So for the next step, I have a round uh, tray mold and I have some resin that I have lightly tinted with some um, pigment dye so this is from let's resin and uh, again just very lightly I just want a little bit of blue um, in my background here and then of course we're going to heat the bubbles out with my heat gun and we'll go ahead and add our tree in the center and along the bottom here, I'm going to be adding some crystals and some stones. So it's just a mix of some crystals. Um, it's like a green color crystal and then as well as some green stones. And I believe there's some white stones in there too. So we're just going to mix those in and get them covered in the resin to kind of make a little bit of a landscape along the bottom. And then once we have those to our liking, we'll move on to adding our leaves. So I'm going to go ahead here and add the leaves around the tree. I'll go into a quick time lapse so you guys can watch that and I'll see you at the next step. So once we have our leaves the way we like them, we're going to be adding some rose petals. So these are real dried rose petals that I'm adding in here. And we'll just scatter them throughout the tree because I want them to look like a flowering tree, like a springtime tree with lots of pretty flowers on it. Similar to a cherry blossom, but obviously we're using darker flower petals here. So we'll go ahead and get all those added in and uh, we'll see you at the end of the time lapse. So once we have all of our rose petals the way we like, we're going to go ahead and fill the rest of the tray with clear resin so that uh, we can cover the rose petals as well as all the other pieces in here and have a flat surface for the top of our tray. And then we'll let that sit and cure overnight. And it's the next morning, so we can go ahead and get this out of the mold. What I really like about this piece is that it's really simple, but it has a beautiful effect at the end. 
just look at that my goodness with that sparkle in contrast with those rose petals it's just amazing i love how this turned out i hope you guys liked it too and again it's a really simple technique and you can really vary it however you like with different materials so i hope you guys like this tutorial and if you did don't forget to leave a comment and like and subscribe thanks so much guys take care bye